Uh, good morning, my name is Corey Carlson. I'm planning ops trainee for Southwest Team 3. Um, so yesterday was a really good day for us. The sun came out, the snow started to melt, and we had clear skies. And what that enabled us to do was to get up in the helicopter and take a really good look of the entire fire and kind of focus in on some of uh, the areas of concern that we had. So another thing that we got yesterday is we were able to fly the infrared uh, ship, which uh, was able to show us area, specific areas of heat on the fire. And what we did with that information is we were able to direct ground crews uh, directly to those areas of heat and start working those those areas specifically. So um, we'll continue that again to, could, today. We'll continue to get a new infrared flight and we'll continue to do aerial recons uh, to see if anything new pops up. So some of the, some of the good news is uh, we were able to get uh, quite a few hotshot crews in and around this buckcorn area is where we really focused in on yesterday and where this fire crossed the Pingree Park Road. So from the Pingree Park Road east to Buckhorn, we, we focused a lot of our attention in, on their kind of hot spotting um, and putting in direct line where needed. And um, we'll continue to do that today. Uh, down here by in Comanche Reservoir, uh, we, we worked from Buckhorn towards Comanche Reservoir and we had crews working from Comanche towards Buckhorn, kind of doing the same thing. Those were areas where there was a little bit of heat and just kind of um, getting folks in there and taking care of that heat. So they'll, they'll be in there again today working in that area. And then we had engines in and along the Pingree Park Road working, mopping up um, smokes and stuff in and around the, the structures, in and around um, areas of heat, and that'll continue uh, on today. And I'll, everything I mentioned today will continue on for several days, if, if not weeks. A lot of country to cover. Um, we'll have to go back in and on some of this stuff a second time and make sure that it's, it's still good. So that's, that was where the majority of our focus was yesterday. Uh, in the Crystal Lakes, Red Feather, Glacier View, and some of these surrounding communities, we had folks in and around all those areas yesterday continuing to do uh, structure implementation uh, around those communities. So we also have uh, a contingency line that's in between the main fire's edge and the structure protection work that we've done in there. And that work continued yesterday as well. This, which I call the thumb, which doesn't really look much like a thumb anymore, but um, we, we found a good uh, avenue to go fairly direct with a little bit of indirect um, stuff and then up to the Kilpecker Tower and then, then back down. So um, we're pretty sure that that, that plan is gonna work and we're gonna start implementing that today. Really rough country. It's going to take a long time to get around it all, but we, we finally do have a, a good path and I, I think a pretty good uh, opportunity for success. Some of this stuff down here I haven't talked about. Long draw, um, some of this western stuff. Things are looking really good in there. I think we're, you, in the next day or two we may actually see some containment which would increase the containment on this fire. And if we do, it's going to be in these areas here. Um, down in uh, Estes Park, we, we have a lot of folks down there looking at um, doing structure assessments on the north part of Estes Park, continuing with stuff in Glen Haven. Again, pretty, pretty hard to access some of this stuff still on the southern part. There's still a lot of snow down in, in those areas. So um, we'll continue to access those areas as we can get into them and continue to do structure assessments and figure out you know, the timing, what makes sense, what kind of work we want to implement now, what kind of stuff we just want to have ready in case this fire was wanted to move south. Uh, so with that, um, end of report. Thanks.